Hola, como esta everyone? How is everyone doing today? Well, I've been told that I seem to have some pretty lofty opinions and generalizations about things or whatever, or at least that's what some subscriber told me or whatnot. So to address that, first of all, let me uh, be very, very direct, Mr. Subscriber. First of all, A, you don't know what you're talking about. B, you don't know who you're talking to. But anyway, I digress, and I'll address that in just a little bit. But let's go ahead and do some um, show and tell with the edible decorative landscape here. As you can see, we got the bok choy looking its best. We got the peppers going on strong. Um, let's see, uh, the peppers are starting to slowly flower, as you can see. So we should be getting some uh, some uh, nice bell peppers within, I'm going to say probably before the end of this month or whatnot. Of course, we got the basil here, the Thai basil, and the uh, sweet basil as well. And up here, and for all those people who are like, how can you grow anything indoors? Well, if you look sort of closely here, let's see if we can find him. See right there? Yep, yeah, that's my, I forget what kind of tomato this is, but that's a tomato. But if you want a, like, a bit of a closer look, sorry there, we got some, we got some guys growing, growing up in there right there as well. That's the beautiful thing about having an indoor garden. There's so many avenues of, of ways that you can kind of, you know, explore and, you know, sort of dab into botany. I always say, you know, you don't have to be a fireman to know what a fire is and what the type of uh, extensive damage they do, but I digress. Anyway, and that's one thing also I love about my neighbors here. Um, unlike, I don't know if you guys know your neighbors or at least are close to your neighbors, but we're always doing a nice hearty exchange of everything from, as a matter of fact, I got this eggplant today from one of my neighbors. It's very nice of her as well. Um, by the way, I make soap. And one of my neighbors upstairs, she loves the soap I make. As a matter of fact, she gave me some of this uh, chlorophyll. Now, before, before you start typing, okay, this is actually good for, it's not the type of chlorophyll that you think it is. Um, it's actually good for, it has uh, antioxidants, um, also it's good for, um, uh, well, bad breath, um, almost kind of like a deodorant or whatever. It is sort of um, created in the same way that uh, plants use photosynthesis to create energies, you know, using the sun to create energy as well. And... This is kind of what's good for that because it actually uh, stimulates blood flow and uh, actually helps you build your bloodstream. And I've heard, and don't quote me on this, uh, it's good for, uh, it's good for um, well, uh, I've heard it's pretty key in preventing certain uh, cancers as well. So that's always good. Anyway, let's get back to our loftiness, right? Well, again, let me be clear. I never post anything online without having some sort of, how should I say it, uh, hmm, without doing my due diligence and research. You hear all these preppers talking about how you should, you know, have jars of, of food and supplies and all that good stuff, but nothing's any, but what good is that if you don't know how to alert an emergency? This is uh, an American uh, medical association family medical guard. This is essentially the cheat code as far as like what physicians use um, by treating certain ailments and whatnot. It identifies symptoms, you know, cures, and kind of how to address cer certain circumstances as well. If you can see it. I'll try to see if I can um, include links in the descriptions on where you can get this, if you can get this as well. But anyway, <clears throat> and lately, given the fact that we are always applying to Google or whatever for 
our source of information and all that other nonsense. Here's another book, Lies My Teacher Told Me. Exactly. See, we seem to be living in an era where, you know, people want to sort of rewrite, or whoever, the powers that be want to rewrite history. You know, play musical chairs with recasting people and, and everything from, you know, popular movies and all that other nonsense, thinking that somehow that, that by doing that, that's going to kind of change the, the outcome of how, you know, things were kind of sorted out historically. Well, this book is really kind of like a, how should I say it, almost like an Instagram or Facebook. I know, bad choice of words. But it gives real everyday, everyday man or woman accounts of incidents in history and how they happened. And it covers everything from, you know, the Reconstruction, slavery, um, Bay of Pigs, all that good stuff. Um, and I think it goes literally all, all the way up to, I believe, I'm going to say... I'm going through the glossary here, you know, all the way up, all the way up to the, you know, late 60s, early 70s or whatever. But good read if you read books anymore. Anyhow, I believe this has gone on for too long. Let me get one last shot of my, my kale, my sage, and my, and, uh, my other basil, and my garlic as well. Anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, be good to one another. Be awesome. Take care. And as always, peace out. Abigato.